We see with our hearts and love with our eyes. In a 2020 prison, lusting over a prize. Fighter in disguise. What's going on, y'all? It's your boy, Mad Dad 316 here. Coming to you back from the Mad Den. Here to talk about Madden 19. How y'all doing today? Hope your day is going well. Hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay video of Taysom Hill. If you haven't seen it, you guys gotta go check it out. It's a lot of fun. Um, Big Bama had a great time delivering that video for you. If you guys like Big Bam and want to see more gameplay videos of them, just like this. You know, give me 10 likes on this video and we'll get you another Big Bama gameplay out there. And comment down below which guy you might want to see a gameplay of. It could be a new guy, it could be an old guy. Just somebody you want to see Big Bama give his overall impression of and his uh, very unique, colorful commentary on. Anyway, today we got some new player spotlights in the game. The final batch of player spotlights is here. And let's just go to the teams and make this a lot easier. I believe the Patriots got one with our boy, yes. Oh, he's not even here. Oh, they don't have any up right now. So we'll have to wait on that guy, Sony Michelle. Oh, I just backed out of everything. Just ruined my whole program there. But anyway, Sony Michelle was one of them. We also got Denzel Ward for the Cleveland Browns. Um, we'll try to find him right quick. If they have any of him of everybody. Everybody's snatching them up all fast, trying to to get some game with them before the game even ends. You know, the game gets so close to the end now. Rookie Premier is coming on. They said Monday they're going to talk about him. Probably going to be, here's Denzel Ward. You guys have seen the stats. He's ridiculous. The one knock's going to be his height. He's only at 5'10", but, I mean, let me get out of here. I'm only blocking this with my big old head. 99s, I mean, you guys can see 99 speed, acceleration, agility, 98 jumping, 96 player recognition, 98 man, 95 zone, 99 press. I mean... I guess the only knock is his height, but um, a solid card there, man. He's a really good card. Um, anyway, let's see, see if Sony was chill. I wanted to see, I was thinking about, Bama was thinking about asking me if he could do a gameplay on Sony. I don't know Sony was chill up there. Maybe we should go out there and make, like, I have enough coins to go make one. Maybe we should go make one, do a gameplay and sell him. No one's buying him, but maybe no one's even buying him. That's why he's not up there. So there he is. I'm not trying to buy him. We're trying to compare him. Taking my feel hit out of here again. Nah, he's a little slow. Nothing spectacular there, Marcel Darius. I don't know why that got that guy. Let's get out of here. I don't even know why we're looking at him. Why are we looking at these cards? You guys know who's in the dang game. I mean, Rashad Perryman. And then um, the other sleeper was... Um, who was the other sleeper? Was Mar uh, Marcel Darius. And Amari Cooper, who's uh, 93 jumping, is only knock. And then they had the sleepers of Rashad Perryman and I don't know the other one. We're just drawing a blank now. Now I just want to know just because, because I've been drawing such a blank. It's been a crazy morning here in the in the Mad Dad land. So just a little, not a little bit not as prepared as I should be. I mean, I kind of saw that who was there. But, um, who was the other 97? Oh, Jesse Bates, that's who it was. Duh. I'm surprised they gave him a sleeper and didn't give him the future star. I think, I mean, I'm surprised. Uh, sorry, uh, Derwin James. I'm surprised Derwin James is what I was going to say. Derwin James didn't get a future star. But, um, anyway, the program's already here. It's done. Um, Jesse Bates looks pretty good. I mean, he's going to be great on a theme team. I mean, Sean Taylor's size, but this has a little bit, not as much hit power. He's got pretty good cover skills, though. We get to look at him real fast. Why not? Get my big hit out of the way for a second. You can see it's 95 speed, it's quick, 88 tackling, and the 84 power is the only thing that you, he really sticks out to you a lot. But the man in zone looks pretty good, you know, he's got some speed. Those those, those uh, Bengal theme teams are happy right now on that card right there. But anyway, so as far as weekend league, one last two weekend leagues, we got rookie premieres coming. And the big question is what's gonna be, how is rookie premieres gonna work? We know for sure one thing, guys. It's going to be sets. You're not just going to be able to buy a rookie premiere from the store or, you know, buy him off the auction block to be able to get him in the 9 20s. It's going to be sets. So how are the sets going to come about? Is it going to be trading in players? That makes the most sense. And I think kind of what we've seen is not really, I'm not going to call them lazy, but just very undeveloped um, releases on these programs. I mean, I mean, think about it. Look at our last two promos. Look at our last two promos, guys. We got the, um, the program stars. It was just one set. No, it's not even more different sets. It was just one set, pick your player. That's as, that's as much effort was put into that. And the player spotlights, it was just the three tiers. 
wouldn't need at the, there wasn't a new set dropped at each release. It was just just drop them in there. And we'll sprinkle them in there. So I mean, I don't know if it's gonna be very complicated as far as the sets going for rookie premieres. I'm thinking of my, my mind is a, has a couple of opinions. First of them is that you buy tokens, like say, or collectibles from the store. Like you get them, like say you buy a pack and then you get one free, kind of like similar to the team of the year collectibles. But um, you also could buy just a collectible, I'm thinking, maybe with training. Maybe you use that uh, the way to get rid of training. So training could be a denomination or it could be coins and you're buying these collectibles somehow from the store. Buy up a bundle where you get like 10 of them or something like that. And then you put these, these, these collectibles into the sets or badges, whatever you want to call them. That's the way I think it's going to go. And so that can be one way of doing them. And I'm thinking you can also maybe trade in some players to get these collectibles. That'll be an exchange set within the sets. So those are my predictions of be how you're going to get rookie premieres. So, best way to prepare for them, guys, is just have as much coins and, and players as, as you possibly can. I mean, there's not, a, there's not going to be no secret formula, guys. Don't sell your team off right away. I'd, I'd keep everybody you have just because if you can trade in those 98s and 99s, you might want to trade them in and save your coins for whatever. Or if you don't, you know, or not to worry about, you know, hustling for coins in the last second. You already have the players you need. Or if you have enough coins, you just buy the collectibles or buy the players you need to... to turn into training so I mean the best way maybe if you wanted to take that route if you think training might be an option is to stock up on some 99 because that training becomes valuable again 99's price is going to go up so you don't want to have to go out there and spend you know because I'm thinking maybe a uh, hundred thousand training for for a for a player for a rookie premiere you know what I mean like in sets like you pay a hundred thousand to get a collectible so I mean or or, or 500 maybe it's 50,000 each and you need a hundred thousand to get uh, a rookie premiere or something like that. So I'm thinking maybe a hundred thousand training for, for rookie premiere. You're talking a million in training. So that's if you think about it, that's 20 99s, 20 99 overall. So if you need to buy 20 99 overalls to get rookie premieres, those prices are going to go up. And you're thinking about that. They go from now they're around the average around two. So that's four million in um, 99s. If they go up to even 300, then you're paying six million for 99. So. I'm just telling you that that's my guess. That's in a prediction how it might be. Who knows? Who knows how it might turn out? But anyway, guys, let's uh, go out there and let's see if they have some packs in the store. We'll open some packs. Hold up, hold up, hold up. You said, Pat, you ain't had me on the last couple shows there, Mad Dad 316. I'm a little, how can we say, perturbed at you for the. I know you've been giving those gameplays for Big Bama. He's been getting his. Where's my time? I'm trying to get my career off the ground, too. I just want to drop in here now, just to spice things up a little bit. I know it's getting a little dry there, talking about scenarios for your rookie premieres. Nobody knows what they're going to be. Stop giving predictions, make people go out there and buy all these 99s. That's what you're going to do. You're going to make them buy all these 99s and then they can't sell them back because the market's going to plummet. But do what you're going to do. Don't always believe Mad Dad. He gets crazy in his mind about these things sometimes. Anyway, let's open some packs. Anyway, let's see who we get here. I'm going to open them if they're good, Mad Dad. I'm not going to wait till your coins like that, ghost. We knew it wasn't a ghost. I cut the heads off everybody with my beauty and my grace. Oh, no. These ain't that good, Mad Dad. These ain't that good. No, oh, no. May we open one more, Dad? I just want to stop by and say hi. See if everybody remember me. They forgot about me. I know you start calling me honey, but I can roll with that. Oh no, oh, it's not spectacular, Mad Dad. It's not spectacular, Mad Dad. Oh no. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Anyway, guys, hope you guys have a great day. If you guys want to see a gameplay from Big Bama, let me know if you guys want what you guys want to see out there. Give me some feedback. Take care. Have a good day. Have fun with Weekend League. Mad Dad 316 is out.